What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a huge pickups video. And uh, I probably looked weird at the beginning of this because I wasn't sure if it was recording. I swear, last time I did the video, the recording time was on the top of the screen. So I was like waiting for it to pop up and it never did, turns out it was on the bottom. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm in a new location in the game room. Um, I'm in the uh, toy corner. We got my Ninja Turtle collection, Power Rangers, Transformers. Um, I just thought I'd try to switch the background up a little bit, and there's so many toys in this uh, episode that I figured it probably made sense. But I will start with the video games first, in case you guys want to dip out after that, because I know a lot of, not a lot of my subscribers care about the toys. So uh, we have Jack 3. This is a limited run PS4 uh, version. Um, this was limited to I don't know how many copies, but... I got all three jacks on PS4 now because of limited run. We have Tacoma, uh, also limited run. Um, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. That sounded like the beginning of a song, and like I don't know the song, but I felt like I should keep saying the lyrics even though I didn't know them. Uh, I've said this before, but um, I don't get every single limited run game. I only get the ones that I want to play, and uh, Tacoma's one that I've been wanting to play for a really long time. If you played Gone Home, this is made by the same people that made that. I think it's Fulbright. Yeah. They made Gone Home, and then this was their second project. And it was an Xbox exclusive at first. So I was holding off, hoping it'd come to PS4. And it did. And then it got a physical release. So I'm I'm going to start at Let's Play this at some point this year, probably. Um, that's like a walking simulator, if you haven't played Gone Home. Uh, we have the Devil May Cry HD collection on PS4, which I don't know if I've showed this or not, but... I am now. Uh, this has Devil May, Cry, Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3 Special Edition. It's uh, basically a port of the PS3 collection, but it actually supports 1080p. Um, I have the uh, Let's Play of number 1 going on my channel right now, if you want to check that out. Uh, this was actually like kind of pricey now, for some reason. and I, I'm My guess is uh, because... 5 is out, so people like want to get caught up on the series. That always happens when a new game comes out. The games before it start like shooting up in price. Um, like when Shinmu 3 got announced, Shinmu 1 and 2 just like went through the roof because everyone was like, oh, gotta get caught up. But anyways, I managed to uh, look on Walmart.com and get lucky and got this for like 20-something dollars. Um, the next one here, kind of want to keep keep a little... I don't even know what we're consistency uh we have alone with you another limited run game this is a sci-fi game for people who love adventure exploring and maybe even a little romance um i like visual novels and games like that so i decided to pick that up because i will be playing through that and all of these games are open i guess i could here i'll go you guys you guys like this so i'll just do it real quick there's that nothing in there the limited runs are a little more exciting because they have a card and stuff in there Jack 3 actually has a whole book and a card and a reversible cover. Okay, so. Another limited run game. Forma 8. Um, this is like a Metroidvania game, which I didn't know that I loved so much before I played Metroid uh, Zero Mission. I'm currently playing through Metroid Samus Returns on um, 3DS. A very fun game. Not This isn't a fun game. Very fun genre. Genre, I should say. So there's that. Uh, we have Dragon Fantasy. This is also a limited run release. Um, if you can't tell by the the uh, font and the stuff, this is an RPG. Um, it's basically like a... I want to say like even 8-bit RPG, so it goes back pretty far. Um, this is a Red Art Games release, Old Man's Journey. Which Red Art Games does kind of like limited run games, but I think they're based in Germany not really sure but this is like a narrative adventure it looked really good so i wanted to pick up the physical copy that was limited i hope it has english it should considering never mind the back isn't even english i hope i really hope this game has english in it and then we have jack 2 limited run i'm not a fan of this cover art because look at all this crap on the front like what it's like a full like story on the front of the, i don't know there is a reversible cover that I could switch it to, I guess. But Jack 2, this game is my nemesis. 
I platinumed it on PS3, but oh my gosh, such a frustrating game. Um, if you can't tell, most of the PS4 releases that I get nowadays are the limited ones, and that's just because you have to get them right then, or, you know, they're sold out. Um, I'm not finished showing video games, by the way, but I just uh, wanted to tell you guys that I don't buy a lot of, like, full-price games. Limited run games are only, like, $30, usually. Um, we have Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. Had to grab that. Then we have The World Ends With You Final Remix. Cool little inside there. This is a port of a 3DS game, by the way. Here's this. Here you go, go guys. Um, it's a port of a 3DS game that I've been wanting to play for a while. But uh, when I saw it got a Switch release, I knew I had to have it. Yoshi's Crafted World. This game, this one has an annoying story with it, okay? So, I had some uh, eBay bucks, and uh, I saw Yoshi's Crafted World. The picture looked like this, sitting there. Um, saw it for like $45, I think, and I used eBay bucks, got it for 30 something And uh, it comes in the mail, and it's only the card. Only the cartridge. And I was like, what the hell? I got mad. I went back to the eBay listing. The eBay listing shows the case, but I guess in the fine print of the description it says cartridge only, which I usually look for that, and I guess I got excited when I saw the case and the price and I just bought it. So I've been looking everywhere for just the case for this. Every single day I searched eBay, searched Macari, searched Facebook Marketplace everywhere just for the case for Yoshi's Crafted World. I finally found one. Finally. It just sucks because now that I had to buy a case with it, I basically paid, you know, 40 something dollars, 50 something if you count my eBay books. I should have bought the damn game new. <laughs> it's really annoying. I know I could have returned the game, but I've just had so much trouble with eBay lately. Like, people screwing me over on eBay that I just. I just was over it. But, anyways, I also picked up. This is just the case for Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and I picked this up. And I have another one coming in the mail. Um, because the collector's edition only comes with a steel book. And I don't want to, like, for one, I don't like having the steel book just laying around. It's going to get all scratched up and, like, damaged. And, uh, and two, if I ever want to get the game back out, I have to dig into the collector's edition and get the steel book out, you know. So I got the regular case that I'm going to put the game in and put it with the Switch games. That way I can, uh, you know, have an easier and safer way of getting to my game. So it was only like $9, so I grabbed the case for that. I'm going to start doing that for like Steelbook games probably. Uh, just grab a cheap case, you know. So tips 101, because a lot of people don't include cases in their special editions. I have the Super Smash Brothers one coming as well. Um, the next thing here, Fire Emblem Echoes. have another annoying eBay story with this one. I've been wanting this since it came out. It sold out right away, and I, I didn't end up getting one. Um, so I waited and waited, and finally the price was good. I saw one of these for a really cheap price, probably $10 less than everyone else was selling it for. And it said brand new, said sealed, collector's, di collector's edition, free shipping. And uh, it was a new, it's a new seller, so I was kind of hesitant, but I thought, you know, PayPal and uh, eBay, the, you know, they protect their buyers, so I'll go ahead and... I'll go ahead and go for it. So I purchased it. Uh, what comes in the mail is the regular, just 3DS game sealed of this game, which I already have. And I was like, okay. So I messaged the guy or girl, I don't know. And I was like, hey, uh, your listing says the limited edition, but you sent the standard edition. And then, so I was waiting to see, because a lot of the sellers will just replace stuff and not make you return. So I was just like, so how do you want to go about doing this? And he was like, he or she was like, oh, uh, I'll check real quick. And then if, if it's, that's true, then I'll, I'll replace, I'll send the replacement. And I was like, okay. And then like two days go by and I don't get any, you know, I don't get any reply. And I was like, Hey, uh, did you, did you check? Like, I don't know why he's checking. Like I, I know what I got, but maybe he thinks that he didn't, I don't know. He might think I'm lying. But anyways, he was like, oh, he, he waited like another day, and then he was like, oh, uh, yeah, it's already sent out, rest assured, I've already sent it. And I was like, oh, okay. Like a week goes by, 
or close to a week. I don't know. This whole ordeal lasted like three weeks. And then I was like, hey, do you have a shipping? Do you have a tracking number on this or anything? And he was like, didn't answer. I was like, hey, do you have tracking on this? Didn't answer. This is like days in between. Hey, did you send that? If you, if you don't have a tracking number, I'm going to have to open up a case with eBay because I'm getting no replies from you. No answer. So I go to eBay and I'm like, item not received. He sent me this, blah, blah, blah. I said the whole story. They looked it over for a few days and then told me no refund or anything because it says delivered. And I was like, what the hell? Like, the wrong thing was delivered. So I called eBay and they were like, oh, you should have done return item. And I was like, okay, well, let's do that then. So she switched to return item, and uh, the person never answers, so eBay just refunds me. So, anyways, I got a free 3DS version of this because I got refunded, but that was really annoying. So, be very leery of people who have no ratings on eBay. Long story for no reason. You probably fast-forwarded through that part. Um, finally got this amiibo. I was, did I already show the last one? I don't know. But, uh, I had this pre-ordered when it first was announced, but the Splatoon Amiibos don't seem to sell out very fast, so I canceled, and I was like, I'll get that at some other point. And now, like, everywhere they're, like, you know, marked up 50% or whatever. So I finally found one that was a decent price. It was only, like, $5 more than I would have paid if I would have bought it retail. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I thought her head was broken for a second, but it's tentacles. Okay, the last video game thing, and then I have a boatload of toys here. Um, I got the PlayStation Classic finally. Um, I decided to, I opted for the uh, Amazon refurbished open box, like like new, whatever. Just because it was like $10 less, you know. But it had stickers everywhere. I had to clean it all off. It's kind of sticky now because I got all the stickers off. I didn't get that sticker off. Uh, my dog's here. But uh, I had this pre-ordered at $100, and I canceled last second, so I'm glad I dodged that bullet. But uh, I told myself I'm not going to get one until, like, the hacking community gets to it, because I don't care about the 20 games that are on there, really, except maybe one or two of them. So this game is pretty good hacked, or this game, the system is pretty good hacked now. So uh, I'm in the process of doing that. I have to get a, uh, I also bought a dongle. Do I have that over here? Over here somewhere. I have the dongle from 8-Bit Doe. Um, yeah, it makes makes it to where I can use my PS4 controller with this. And uh, it'll also let you tap into like some emulator settings that you can't normally get to. And uh, also, I got a uh, flash drive, 128 gigabyte flash drive, to mod this and uh, put whatever games I want on it. But I need a USB power hub thingy before that can get done so yeah um next things here time for the toys i got the g1 uh reissue walmart reissue of uh gears and warpath these are reissues of the old 80s figures um my walmart just refuses to carry these two and get or get any new ones in i think it's because the other ones aren't really selling so someone on facebook i I posted in a Transformers buying group. I was like, hey, does anyone does anyone have those near them? Because I'm not getting any of them. And someone sent them to me for just, uh, you know, price plus shipping. So that's really nice of them. They might have even lost money on it because of the PayPal fee and stuff. But anyways, uh, those are pretty cool. Glad to add those to the collection. Um, I also originally told myself that I would not get into these figures. Um... Because, so, those of you don't that don't know, uh, the current Transformers uh, series that's out right now is Transformers Cyberverse, which is pretty good. I'm almost finished with the first season. Uh, so I bought those figures, which they look like this. You know, they're kind of like kitty, you know, kind of like a little lower quality, but they're not bad. So that's those. I told myself I was just going to stick to those figures this wave because I've been getting all the uh, TV released uh, series since, like, Beast Wars. Well, I've skipped a few, but anyways. Um, so so last time it was uh, R.I.D. 2015, and then the Prime Wars trilogy was on YouTube. And uh, so there was a lot of Combiner Wars and uh, Titans Return and all that stuff figures 
on uh, they were also being released and they're more expensive because they're higher quality figures but I kind of skipped over those I was just like nah I don't, I don't really want those which I do kind of want them now but anyways now it's Cyberverse that's on TV and Siege is about to come to Netflix so I was like I'm only gonna get the TV figures but Siege just looks so these figures just look so good and they're kind of based off some comic books just look wise as well and I was just like, ah, so I folded and I grabbed a couple. I got um, Sideswipe, just really nice figures. They're way higher quality. And we have Chromia. These are the only two that I got from this line so far. But even like the box artwork is amazing. Like These figures are just so much better than the other ones. The show, I feel, I feel like I'm going to love this show and I'm going to want the figures. So I decided to grab a few. Okay, next up here. Um, my I'm I'm on a Beast Wars podcast, or I've been on a few episodes, and I'm I'd like to get back to it, but work my work hours make it impossible right now. But uh, I met a bunch of cool guys on there, and uh, one of them um he also collects like sealed Beast Wars and sealed Transformers, and he was selling a lot a lot of his duplicates, so he has a big pile for me that I'm just like paying off slowly, and he's sending me some here and there. So this is the first. Uh, this is the first, like, group of sealed Beast Wars and stuff that he sent me. Um, these are all from the 90s, except for one. One's from 2000, but very cool. Uh, we have Ter Terrigator. I had m I have most of these loose, or, like, I had them as a kid loose, but it's really cool to get them sealed like this. And I also like the price tag still being on there. I think it's it's a cool little bit of history. Like, I don't know where this was, but it was 297 wherever it was. Then we have another Fuser, Noctoro. I also have this one, loose, in a bin somewhere. Or it might have... I'll just say I have them, because I'm pretty sure I have them still. But they're not in the great greatest shape. Uh, nope, this isn't one of those. We have Man Terror. I played the, with this one a ton when I was a kid. Uh, very cool deluxe figure. He's a praying mantis. Kind of dusty. Uh, there's a little damage on the back there, but that's okay. I got a really good deal on these. Then we have uh, Retracks. I have I have this one, and I had it as a kid, but it was just so awkward to play with because like it's so big and bulky that I didn't play with it a lot, but I did have it. Uh, then we have a Beast Machine here. It's a tank or drone, or tank drone, sorry. These are the drones that Tankor controlled in Beast Machines. This one's from 2000. This was just a throw-in, and uh, it, it was really... It looked like someone ran it through a chimney at first. Like, like you would just do this, and your fingers would be all black. But uh, I got it cleaned up quite nicely there. Then we have uh, Cyber Shark. I had this one as a kid, too, and it was so cool, but it was just so cumbersome to transform and stuff that I didn't play with it a lot. This one I'm super excited about. Um, we have Transmetals Megatron, but it's the purple variant, which is harder to find. I, I don't know if it was a error when they made the purple uh, Megatron and purple... Stop. 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 And she's like sniffing my... Stop it. Go. Um, I don't know if it was an error or what when they made the purple Megatron and purple Optimus Primal, but... Uh, I never thought I'd get them, so here's the purple Megatron. He's not sealed, but he's in his box and stuff, which is good enough. Then, I think that's all that I got from him. So these next ones are a uh, Facebook deal that I did. I bundled with the guy I was telling you about. We bundled together, and I got these figures for a super good deal. Um, this first one is a Japanese one. It's Max B. He's basically the wolf thing figure but like all mechanicalized like half robot type of thing he's uh he's harder to find and know that i don't know how much he's worth exactly but i did not pay near that much so and then here's the actual wolf thing that he's based off of got that one i played with this one a lot as a kid this was like one of my staples when i played with these beast wars then we have a uh, Rock Bubble Cheetor here. Oh, sorry. Um, 
so I already have Cheetor, but he has the smooth bubble, and the picture in the back's different, and uh, and it's like not focusing. There we go. And uh, his eyes right here are blue, and the one I have up there, his eyes are green. Um, this one's harder to find. I think the rock bubbles were the initial releases, so it's cool to get that and add it to the collection. Then we have Rock Bubble Waspinator, which Waspinator is kind of hard to find anyways. So, uh, but I found out the Smooth Bubble Waspinator is actually harder to find because Waspinator was re repainted as Buzzsaw, so his, uh, his Smooth Bubble uh, versions, uh, they got shorted, you know, because Buzzsaw was also released. So I'll get the Smooth Bubble with that eventually. It's cool to just have a sealed Waspinator, though. And he was 10 bucks at Hills? I don't know. This one's really cool. Um, two figures, as far as I know, only two, were released with a VHS tape included with it. I don't know if it's a whole episode or what, but we have Razor Claw. And uh, yeah, so he has a VHS tape right here. Uh, there's also an Air Razor um, who was released with a VHS tape. And uh, she's, like, darker brown than her normal paint. Um, I have a regular Razor Claw loose, and I played with that one a lot, but I've never I'd never seen this variant until, you know, adulthood. <laughs> hey, I forgot to show this. Got Detective Pikachu cards from, uh... I didn't go see this yet, but uh, I went to see The Curse of Yayarona. I hope I said that right. Anyways, uh... Yeah, I went to go see that, and the girl had him sitting there, and I was like, can I have one of those? <laughs> she gave me one. So, uh, the next two figures here. Um, the guy I was telling you about with the Beast Wars. Why does this keep focusing like this? Come on, focus. Okay. Uh, the guy I was telling you about with the Beast Wars, he, he, uh, also knows a guy that has his own, like, um, online store for Transformers. So we get really good deals through this guy um, for, you know, current Transformers that come out. Not old ones, but but I got a Cryotech here, which is a uh, third-party re-release of... It's not Cryotech. This is Psycho Knight, but he's a third-party re-release of Cryotech. <laughs> Hope I said that right. Right. So, uh, yeah, Psycho Knight. And, uh, yeah, which... Which is basically a repaint of Transmetal 2 um, Megatron. And then we have Dark Gorira, which is basically a repaint of Optimal Optimus. He's painted like Season 1 Optimus. But yeah, so I got really good deals on those. Like, way cheaper than if I would have bought them just from a store or something. But uh, yeah, that is all of my pickups, I think. Pretty sure. <sighs> So, that was really long. Sorry if you guys don't like toys. And uh, most of you probably didn't make it this far anyways. Let me know if you did. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!